I have my Arduino as a controller in my application. Here are the output pulses from Arduino as you see on oscilloscope. As you see, the peak output pulses from Arduino is 5 volt DC. This is not suitable for my application. But my application needs 12 volt DC output pulses from Arduino. What should I do? Using relay or optocoupler? Let's see. Now I will use relay 5 volt DC coil to send pulses of Arduino to coil and I will use the normally open relay contact and connect 12 volt DC positive terminal on the common terminal of relay and connect normally open terminal to oscilloscope. Here is our circuit and we will see if this circuit will give us output pulses 12 volt DC or not. Our oscilloscope will measure the relay output on yellow channel 1 and the Arduino pulses on blue channel 2. As you see, there is no relay output. This happened because relay have a mechanical response that need time to make action, so relay is very slow to our application. So we will use optocoupler. Optocoupler is used to connect to isolated circuits. It consists of two components, photodiode and transistor. First, we will show the optocoupler pins. As you see, there are four pins. Two pins for photodiode, which need 5 volt DC to out its signal. This signal will make the transistor work, so it will out 12 volt DC pulses, as you see. Connections, as you see, you can know pin number one because of notch. Now we will connect the Arduino pulses output number 2 to resistance after that connect it to pin 1 in optocoupler. Pin 2 we will connect it to ground. After that we will connect pin number 4 to positive 12 volt DC power supply terminal. We will connect the oscilloscope prop head to pin 3. Now after connecting our circuit, our oscilloscope will show us the optocoupler output on yellow channel 1 and Arduino pulses on blue channel 2. As you see, because optocoupler depend on light speed, so its speed is very high. So it help us out 12 volt DC pulses as you see on channel 1. Please do not forget your subscribe, like, and share.